What's up everybody here with another unboxing. Uh, so I just picked up the blue Yeti caster. Uh, it's the microphone, shock mount, and like desk arm stand all in one. Runs you about 200 bucks at Best Buy. I had some reward certificates and uh, I have the kind of membership that gives you the two year warranty. So that's why I went with it. Um, I'm uh, pretty excited about it. I had to, had to buy this because my dog decided to get at my Razor Krakens here while I was at work, which you guys know is what I record with. Uh, so Gumbo's, yeah, coming to feel real guilty about that, huh, bud? Um, but yeah, so he got at the mic pretty bad here, as you can see, uh, ate it up. So I think the headphones are still going to work, no problem. But as for the microphone, it's toast. So I've been wanting to get one of these for a while, um, but... Uh, this just kind of made it happen a little bit faster, so we're going to go ahead and unbox it. So this is what it looks like right out of the packaging. Uh, I'm trying to keep it as nicely remaining in its packaging as I can, or let the packaging stay as nice as I can, because I'm a little concerned about the the fitment on my desk since it's so wide right here. Um, I don't know if it's going to grip like it's supposed to. As you can see, my desk uh, monitor mount didn't, because that's probably about four inches there and this just didn't have the clearance so i'm pretty certain that if this doesn't have the clearance neither will the microphone so we're just gonna play it by ear here but i'm gonna get the rest of it opened and set out and we'll go from there okay yeah so i was kind of like immediately right uh as you can see it's about maybe a half inch an inch too short um i kind of definitely i'm gonna say design flaw on my desk uh originally i was gonna have this lip sticking out a little bit maybe an inch <clears throat> kind of on either side like I've got right here but then like kind of last minute I decided I wanted it to be flush um, and that just kind of gave me a lot of problems with with mounting things to the desk like that but luckily I've got the lip on the edge here and I think the arm is long enough that it's gonna sit just fine but we're gonna find out so I was able to attach it right here uh, it's not the strongest attachment but it's definitely not the worst so we'll play with it and see how we go all right, so actually a super temporary fix. I luckily already had my shop set up for uh, some woodworking because I'm working on a project for Gumbo's Bowls, actually. See how that works? He ruined something of mine. I, I make him something nice. But anyways, took a piece of scrap wood, just a real thin, probably quarter inch <clears throat> uh, piece of scrap wood that I had laying around and cut it to fit kind of nicely in here so it's just a bit more snug, really snug, really. Um, first thing I, I don't love about this arm uh, and it might just be because of the way I have it set up but this doesn't sit super flush uh, I guess if you had like an actual piece that you were attaching it to and not this kind of jerry rig thing that I've got it might sit a little bit more flush but uh, it kind of leans back um, and I think that's just you know because of the way that it's it's made so uh, that's my first kind of just little piece that I notice all right so I've got the mic boom all set up uh, now that um, we figured out how to mount it to the desk and I went ahead and tested it out. It it sounds great. I'm not sure how it sounds compared to the uh, Kraken, but I'll go ahead and throw in uh, some clips from some of my old videos with the Kraken and then record a little bit with the blue here so that you can see how it works. Uh, overall, I've never had a microphone like kind of arm like this mounted to the desk, so it's new for me, but it seems to be high quality. Something that's interesting that probably a lot of arms don't have is it's kind of loaded with this spring all throughout the arm here that's why it's enclosed and then on each of these joints down here there and then finally here is like kind of a, a friction fine-tuning adjustment to the actual spring inside of here and so what that does is it relies on the weight of the microphone so if you just use the blue that it comes with it uh it's really all kind of preset just bump the arm there so uh, what that means is you, you put the microphone on, set it in this kind of 90 degree position here, and then it it sort of just hangs itself, right? There's not a whole lot of adjustment that you have to do. It sets it at a 90 degree angle here, and then you don't really have to mess with it. Um, if you're using a different microphone, one that you might have already had, and you just get the, the compass mount here, you adjust for the weight of the microphone with a little Phillips head screw right in the base here, and that allows you to adjust the spring kind of at a at a larger level and in bigger increments. Um, so you just adjust it. And for instance, if I was going to take this microphone off, like literally just un, unscrewed it, this thing would kind of re 
I don't know, align itself in the straight up position. And then when you put the microphone back down, it kind of balances itself. So that's pretty neat. I don't know how standard that is or uh, how beneficial, but it definitely makes it, setting it up pretty easy. It's a little bit confusing to figure out those fine tuning adjustments. I had to fine tune just a little bit, and that's probably because of where I put it on the desk. Uh, however, it actually fits really nicely being on the side of the desk there instead of where I was planning on putting it in between the Red Bull and my little uh, ceramic model of the Mustang there. Uh, so I like it, and I'll go ahead and play some sound clips. But for $200, uh, I think it's very beneficial that you get the microphone, but I could have gotten this microphone for uh, $130, I believe, and then on sale it was $90, and I had those certificates, so I could have gotten it for, for $70. Um, and then the mount itself is probably about another hundred dollars and they give you to it give it to you at a discount there because you're you're buying it in a package. So I'm not sure whether the mount is is worth it, but there was another mic mount that uh Best Buy was selling and that one was 70. So really probably the same price as this one, and I'm gonna say that definitely probably wasn't the quality that this one has. It was more of an open kind of two-arm deal instead of this nice enclosed mount right here. It's very easy to mount to the side of your desk if you don't have some weird setup like I do. Uh, how I've already told you, I had to include that piece of wood there. So that's something to take into consideration. Um, other than that, I, I really like it. I'll show you how it sits here when I'm sitting at my desk. Uh, so I've got my volume knob, easily accessible, the mute button. And on the back here, you have uh, a pattern knob. Let's see if I can get it to focus. Possibly. A pattern knob and then a gain knob for adjusting those more uh, detailed uh, settings. So that's it. You can adjust and, um, I don't want to say that, add on. Add a pop filter if you want to. But I tested this microphone just a little bit, and honestly, I don't think you need it. It sounds really, really nice. So uh, another feature I really like about this um, arm that I didn't notice before, these clips that they have for the cable management, uh, they actually pop out, and then you run your cables, and they kind of click back in. So that's really nice. They're not, they're not uh, cheap or not strong enough. They're very nice, and I don't think you'd have a problem running like an XLR cable through it. If you had a, uh, a larger microphone that you were using, it's a pretty wide channel, as you can see there, and the standard mini USB or micro USB to USB that it uses is, is pretty thin. So you could fit two of those through there or probably a thicker XLR mount. And I just ran it around the desk here and then through one of my grommets that I have used for all my other cables. And as you can see, I haven't tidied the, the cable that it has, but it's a pretty long cable. It's definitely probably a four to six foot cable. I didn't measure it exactly, but uh, all in all, pretty satisfied. And I'll go ahead and play those clips and uh, you can let me know what you think in the comments. All right, everybody, back with another video, episode two of this new series for the Horde. Uh, I wasn't so animated in my last video, so I'll try to be a little bit better uh, this time around. I think I fixed the desktop audio issues and maybe made it a little bit better for uh, my sound on my mic. Uh, I hope you liked the transitions in the last video. Got a little bit into DaVinci Resolve, and it's got some really sweet uh, video transitions that are available for free. All right, so I'm just testing the uh, Blue Yeti here and letting you guys hear what it sounds like as compared to the, the clip I just played, which is the Razor Kraken. Uh, I'm kind of excited myself to hear what they both sound like side by side since I haven't actually listened to the difference. I did listen to a quick recording that I made with this Blue Yeti when I first plugged it in to make sure it was all working out and it sounded really smooth. So I'm, I'm hoping there's a big difference uh, between the Razer and the Blue Yeti here, uh, especially since I just dropped the money on it. But uh, give me your thoughts and stuff in the comments and I appreciate you watching this unboxing and short little review over the next few videos. We'll listen to how it sounds as I play different games and things like that, and we'll, uh, we'll really assess it. So, again, thanks for watching, guys. Like, subscribe, and comment below for more.